Today I'm working on a 2 liter TSI engine. This is in a 2013 Volkswagen GTI. Um, I'm replacing the intake manifold. It has uh, intake manifold position sensor faults and um, it hasn't been off so the valves need to be cleaned anyways. So it's a good opportunity to update to the newer design. I just thought I'd talk about that newer design intake manifold a little bit. You'll notice on the ones that have already been replaced that up here, um, pinched to this little bolt, there's a little bracket with this little hose attached that wasn't there before. I'll show you what that is and um, why they did that. Here's the factory intake manifold that the original design, sorry, I have it sitting in my toolbox. It's kind of hard to pay attention, but um, yeah. So here's the vacuum actuator for the, uh, for the changeover. So when it gets a, when it gets a command, when the solenoid gets a command, it, um, it, it opens this up for maximum, you know, intake manifold flow. And um, what they think happened is the mechanism ex itself kind of gets just banged out and falls apart. The pivot, you'll see on a lot of these, this arm is just totally falling off and this pivot is, is pulled out. And um, a lot of it's because of when, when vacuum is let off or when uh, pressure is let off at the solenoid, this thing slams shut like this. And it's a pretty, it's a pretty violent thing to be happening over and over and over. And um, it's just because of the, the way this is designed, there's a spring in here and there's nothing to kind of dampen that. So what they did is, along with redesigning the intake manifold altogether and creating a internal stop and a different lever and a different, it's a different setup. They also replaced this solenoid here with a three port solenoid. So this solenoid has a line here, a line here. This is your signal, you know, to the, this is your actual um, intake manifold vacuum or pressure or whatever you have. And uh, this is the control to the vacuum solenoid. On the other side of it right here, there's a little vent. And what that is, is it's a, um, it's an internal vent and um, they don't com completely leave it open. They restrict it down, but they, they just feed it to atmosphere. So if you look at how this works and I um, do the same thing and re release it, it violently snaps back. But if I plug this port, let me see if I can set this up. It releases very slowly and barely even hits the stop. So if I was to um, put a restrictor on this, like this part here, I'm actually waiting on it to show up from the dealer. I would be um, showing you exactly, you know, what it looks like. But this is it. You'll see it right on top of your um, where the, the valve cover is, and um, this here just restricts it down. So all it's doing is just allowing it to be dampened a little bit, so it's not just pounding internally on this uh, on this um, the stop. So restricting this down and then it's allowing it to slowly come down and be a nice, um, take, you know, take a lot of uh, the stress off the intake manifold. So along with the redesign, the solenoid is also a good idea. And when you're doing this intake manifold job, don't just swap solenoid to the two port one, actually update it to the three port. It's a better idea. It'll last longer. And, um, yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching.